Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Rossi and today I'm showing you guys my March bullet journal and I am so sorry that it's late. I meant to post this on Monday, but I was unable to. Uh, but anyway, I'm very proud of this one. I actually tried even though I kind of suck at drawing, but I pulled loads of inspiration from Pinterest for this one. I thought I could do a plants theme and the hanging planters was the best looking one and on my skills level of drawing. I am opening up this month with a quote as I've come to do and the one I picked was be your own kind of beautiful. I thought it went well with the theme and it kind of makes sense for spring because it's literally right around the corner and I'm so excited for it even though it's been raining a lot here in Oregon. And it's also been a bit snowy which is weird for this time of year. Anyway, I also picked this quote because every flower is different and beautiful in its own unique way. Some are big, some are small, some very colorful, etc. They each have distinct features, so you be whatever you want to be because not all flowers bloom the same as the one next to them. My next page is my cover page for the month and I'm still practicing my fake calligraphy so you'll be seeing that a lot until I get good at it. I decided to put the month calendar on the front page just to fill in the space because it looked empty and the design goes on the top anyway. The hanging planters were really fun to draw, but some of them were more detail-oriented than I expected, despite how easy they are to draw. But coloring them in was my favorite part of all this. I got to experiment with mixing colors together to make them look a bit more realistic. For this month, I'm also trying the Crayola Super Tips. Not sponsored, I promise. It's just that Amanda Rachel Lee always talks about these, and so I thought I could try them. So far, I really like them better than the other ones I currently have, but I still like the other ones and will continue to use them. My next page is my calendar page. This one is always the first. I think it sets the tone for how I will be planning the entire month. I did put my to-do box on the left page and this is just to take up space. I mainly use this box for things that take top priority. It helps me stay more organized. I did put my growth box on the bottom of the next page and it's small because I realized I didn't actually need the big one like I had last month. I like the calendar layout I've been doing for the last two months, but I wanted to change it up a bit. So I only drew vertical lines and used a green marker for the horizontal lines. 
it looks fresh and it was less of a hassle to draw. My next page is my budget planner and this is still one of those spreads that needs improvement so I changed it up again and kept some elements from last month such as the budget boxes. I thought it was too crowded with too many boxes so this time I tried to leave more blank space for doodles. I'm also practicing drawing lines freehanded instead of with a ruler and I'm getting better at it. The following page will be my expense tracker, same as last month. It actually came in handy and it's nice being able to see it all on paper. It has made me realize how easily we can spend money when we use our debit cards. So hopefully we can manage our money better with the spread by cross-referencing the expense tracker with my budget plan. I'm drawing more hanging plants on my budget page and I played around with some geometric shapes and it looked really cool. I intentionally left a blank page in case I need more space for my expense tracker. Last month I ended up using two more pages but I didn't actually need the three pages so I'm going to try to keep it down to two and hopefully I won't need more than one in the future. Anyway, the page next to it is my habit tracker and I had the idea of doing hanging plants slash calendars so it looks more artsy and less boring than simple boxes. My husband really liked this page for some reason, so it was nice that my idea didn't go unnoticed. Moving on to my trackers, first is fitness. I liked having the extra space for doodling for the spread and I made sure to have enough space for my trackers and for my running grabs for exercise and sleep. This is one of my favorite spreads this month because of all the drawing elements I added and the layout is also a bit different.
I did take away some health trackers as I no longer find them necessary. I'm just keeping the ones I feel are most important. I really liked the planters I added for this page even though they weren't hanging. It's a good reminder to stay grounded when it comes to my health and not be so up in my head if that makes any sense. <laughs> On this spread, I also started playing around with some color and mixing some shades together to make the plants seem a bit more realistic and not so flat. And I really like the look of them. My husband noticed it too, so yay. The next page slash spread is also one of my favorites. It's a tie between this one and the previous one actually, but anyway. This one is a quilt page and I chose the quote, bloom where you are planted. I figured it was a good quote for the month because it's a plant theme. And even though I have chosen hanging plants, you will notice that these are flowing out of their planters. So these plants are blooming literally outside of their planter. Get it? <laughs> out of their comfort zone and out into the world. Cheesy, I know, but the metaphor works. It just reminds me to step out of my comfort zone as well and not be afraid to think outside of the box and try something new. The next page is a brain dump page to jot down all of my ideas and I thought it was fitting to put these two pages next to each other. I only drew leaves borders around it to keep it simple and not take up space. Lastly, my weekly spreads. I will only be showing you one because it will be the same for the most part for the rest of the month. I'm keeping the same layout because it's working, but instead of using boxes, which seemed a bit confining, I'm leaving an open space because, again, blooming. <laughs> I like the open space better, and I also like the planters I chose for the spread. They look really neat. And that's it. Here's my March bullet journal in all its glory. I feel like I have made a huge improvement since I started. I'm very proud of my progress so far. I've been loving planning each month's theme and spreads and their layouts and drawing all the different elements, inking and coloring. It all feels really therapeutic. I'm using different shades but remaining true to my accent color which is green but despite the pop of color, I like that this specific month has an artsy, minimalist vibe and feel to it. Overall, I feel like I'm getting somewhere with this journal. I'm using it more and more and it has been such an amazing tool for organizing my content for my blog and for YouTube. 
I do plan on pushing my limits in future months and learning how to draw better, so this is great practice. I may even attempt watercolor at some point, but I'm still practicing on that, so that won't come until I'm ready. Anyway, I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope you guys liked this theme. Let me know which page or spread is your favorite in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to watch my video. I will see you on the next one. Bye.